to install Windows 98 SE from a USB flash drive using Rufus, we need a couple of resources. The first one is a Windows 98 SE custom boot disk. You get it from bootdisk.com. Here is the copy. I will put all the links and resources down below in the video description. Next we need a copy of Windows 98 SE. Grab the OEM version and the license keys are on this side here. Download it from WinWorld. This is the file right there. Then you can go to our Phil's Computer Lab website and download a Windows 98 USB storage driver. This will help uh, later when you have Windows 98 up and running to install drivers from a USB. We need the latest copy of Rufus. I downloaded the portable version. It is right here. And then we also need 7-zip uh, in order to extract a few files we will create two USB flash drives. The first one is a boot floppy to partition and format the hard drive of our retro PC and make it bootable. And the second one will have free DOS on it with the Windows 98 installation files. So we begin by right clicking on our boot floppy uh, image creator, 7-zip, extract here. And to the confirmation we say no. If we say yes, this image file will end up being empty. So this is our floppy image. We now need to write this onto a USB using Rufus. So we launch it. I have a uh, flash drive installed. Press select. We are in the correct folder. Change this option to all files. Here's the image file. Open and press start and then OK. And close it. I'm now ejecting this USB and I'm inserting another one. This second USB flash drive we run Rufus again and we will change to this option free DOS and press start. This will create a bootable free DOS onto this USB. Here we have the free DOS USB flash drive and what we need to do now is copy across the USB storage driver and then we need to unpack this file here, 7-zip, extract here. This will uh, unpack an ISO file which we will then also extract and then we can copy across the Windows 98 installation files. Now we go into this folder, there's an ISO right click 7-zip extract it and now we copy the win98 folder onto our free dos usb flash drive that's it all done i'm ejecting the usb flash drive and we will switch over to the retro gaming pc and i'll show you what you need to do next okay here we are on the retro pc I just press the delete key to access the BIOS. This is the hard drive. It's a 32 gigabyte SSD. And also the boot order, make sure it's set to USB hard drive or CD-ROM or floppy or zip. One of these options should work. And then we press uh, yes, saving the BIOS settings. So the USB flash drive is inserted. This is the one that has the Windows 98 SE custom boot floppy. We can see at the top under USB storage device the flash drive showing up. On this floppy we have all the tools we need. F-Disk is very important. This allows us to partition our drive. I've already done this. We have a uh, 32 gigabyte FAT32 partition so I'm not going to create a new one. Just press escape and the next utility we need is called format. We will format our hard drive with the forward slash s command which will copy over the system files so that the hard drive becomes bootable. Okay, let's give it a name and we have just formatted the drive. Now if your hard drive or storage device is already formatted and you just want to make it bootable, type this sys C uh, command, this will just transfer 
the files necessary to boot and there's another command I want to show you fdisk slash mbr you need to run this command if your storage device is brand new if it's a brand new SSD SD card compact flash card or anything like that and it won't boot you need to run this command and what we're gonna do next is I will eject the USB flash drive reboot the machine and it should boot from the hard drive now and there you go the machine booted just fine I will shut it down and put in the second USB flash drive the one with free DOS and the Windows 98 SE setup files so while this machine is booting free DOS uh, there are actually other ways you can do this you could eject the storage device on your retro PC and use a USB adapter and copy it across that way or run a live CD a Linux or Windows for example but the video is titled that we're gonna use Rufus so I'll show you uh, the way using FreeDOS that we uh, created with Rufus and let's have a look at the directory please note that the USB flash drive has the drive letter C and our internal hard drive on the retro PC is D so I'll create a folder here and what we're gonna do we're gonna copy the USB storage driver first onto the Win98 and on this machine the copy speed is actually really slow and that has to do with BIOS implementation on this main board with a wire chipset the USB copy performance under DOS is really really bad um, but I'll still show you what you need to do okay next we go into the Win98 folder these are all the setup files and now all we do is we copy everything onto D slash Win98 and that's it all the Windows 98 installation files have been copied across we're now restarting the retro PC and it should boot into Windows 98 and then we just run the setup to proceed with the installation there we go go into Win 98 it should have all the files and we just run setup there you go the usual options and yeah that's pretty much it so just to uh, summarize we created two USB flash drives the first one is a Windows 98 boot floppy in order to partition format and make your hard drive bootable and then we created a second flash drive uh, using free DOS um, and we copied the Windows 98 installation files across uh, and then onto our retro gaming PC so two st two step process but for both of them we only had to use Rufus so fairly straightforward and that's it guys I will put the links down below in the video description to all the resources and if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching um, if you want to see any other tutorials do let me know I'll try to put something together or at least add it to my list of projects that I want to do one day so yeah thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so give it a like leave a comment share the video with your friends and I shall see you soon with another one